What we're doing is we're looking at uh, biological samples recovered from a Merovingian queen that was recovered from the Basilica of St. Denis just outside of Paris. Queen Aragonda's sarcophagus was discovered in a crypt in the bottom of this basilica in 1959, so it's actually fairly recent. Uh, there's an international team of scientists that are looking at various textiles, looking at uh, organic material. In the past year, some other organic materials, lung tissue and hair tissue, have become available to the uh, scientific community. And this is our first opportunity to really utilize advanced modern analytical techniques to actually look at organic remains. Many of the analyses that have been done so far have been bulk analyses. What x-ray techniques, particularly x-ray microprobes, allow you to do is to actually look at organic materials with very small beams, micrometer and nanometer in size, actually look at chemical components within these materials with detection sensitivities in the parts per million or parts per billion range. And what the APS lets us do is use focused x-rays to do those analyses uh, with very high resolution and very good detection sensitivity, which is difficult to do using many other types of techniques. There are a lot of chemical compounds that people were exposed to in the Middle Ages uh, that are actually very similar to the types of environmental toxins that we worry about today. These types of analytical techniques actually let us look at those compounds in very, very minute amounts and being able to use those in terms of understanding how they impact disease, how they impact people in their daily lives. The other th interesting thing about these techniques is that compared to things like particle beam techniques, the analyses are relatively non-destructive. So these are obviously precious materials. The types of analyses we do, you know, the sample then can actually be returned back to France for other analyses later on. Um, and because we're using x-rays for these types of analyses, we can actually do these analyses three-dimensionally because the x-rays are penetrated through the sample. One of the unique things about the work that we do, much of the work that we do is looking at uh, geologic materials, uh, you know, environmental toxins in the environment, doing material sciences, looking at energy research, you know, battery research. It's quite varied and it's, it's great to have an opportunity to actually interact with archaeologists, with you know, bioscientists, you know, looking at ancient materials and understand just the history of where we came from, you know, the history of you know, who we are as a society and, a, and as a people. Uh, and it just really addresses the real breadth of the, these techniques and what they can be applied to scientifically.